some of my regret. Can the Conan Karu no basket? My academia, Tets, Tetsu, X Mail, Big Four Reader, Basketball Player Reader, maybe for Basketball Player Reader. So, this is a love story of Tetsu, Katakurito, and Tony Hydro Kito. So, here you guys go to the short story part one. We're going to finish up part one that we finished. Here we go. Hey, got hey, Lear Sama said to me, walking into the walking into the year hotel room area. Where are you? said to Linda. Opening the door to his room, Linda Sama, what is it? said to me, I am ah, said Linda. Why, why are you screaming like that? asked Linda Sama. Well, you were looking for me, so I, I kind of guess you knew me. So do I look at the Linda. Ah, yes, it's time to for us to go to the chain cap, so Linda. Very well. I'll contact my team. Teammates, stop to get going. Pack your stuff and let's go. So do I. Hi! Yes, it's near summer. So the others packing their stuff. I open the door and pack it. You know, running back in the room to pack the stuff. All the brilliant of them got ready. And then Tony walked out of his room with his stuff. Dear Summer, yes, Linda. How are we going to fill all 20 of us, 21 of us in the elevator? Well, let's see if we can, said Tony. Walk into the elevator with his team, and Linda walked away and has to do it. Come on, Linda, do you trust us? Yes, and Dear Summer, also Linda, who climbed into the elevator. All 21 kids were in the living room together. All 21 were ready to go over to this to the trade camp for basketball players. One for over the first years, the second years, and the third years between trade camp with the Seneca Seneca players. Well, they were ready to wait for the other players to wait for the third years. The leaders got down to the main entrance, and they were shocked that they made it safely to the, the main entrance. See, Linda, I told you. I told you. Some other tapping his head. Let's get going and give these keys to the front desk. I told you. Yes, Leo Sama said everyone. Tony and the others followed. Tony walked out. The others followed, and Linda followed as well. Tony smiled at the group and they followed him to the, to the front desk and Tony smiled about, thank you for letting us stay here until our flights die to the front desk lay in the order of the hotel. You're welcome, Tony Sama, said the front desk lady and the owner shaking his head in approval. Tony smiled and gave his key to the owner. And then the others do the same, bowing and just thanking them for letting them stay. They never smiled and did the same. Once they were done, they went to their cars. Everybody got everything they needed and went to the cars and buses. If they didn't have a car, they had a bus to go in with their team. Ochaka was waiting for her team to get into the bus. So I smiled and jumped in the bus with his teammates doing the same. Ochaka laughed at their expectation of jumping into the bus. They all took their seats and Ochaka laughed at how patient they were to meet their manager. The manager smiled and sat in their seat, watching as the members of the basketball team talked amongst themselves but not the leader. The leader was busy texting someone and Ochaka knew didn't know what, who he was talking to, so one of the players said, Imagine someone, how about we play a game? What kind of game is Ochako? Let's play the air summer, you know the game. Truth and dare, said Toy Sama, smiling at his competitive nature. What? Do you guys play truth and dare? said Ochako. Yeah, we do. So you pick who you want, and we'll play truth over there, said Toy. Sure, Chaco. Alright, tell us about truth or dare. Dare, said Toy. 
Who have you been texting, Sir Jocko? Um, a friend. Do we get a Jocko? We have him. Truth or dare to you, Sir Jocko? Truth. Satori, tell us the truth. Is he really a friend? All right, no, he's my boyfriend. All right, do it again, do it again, do it again, to the other members of the team. All right, Toy, truth or dare? Dare. Tell us the name of your person you're dating. Uh, his name is Tatsuga. Tatsuga. Kajigaru. He's one of the Seneca players. Oh, you got one of those guys. Still one of the members of the team. Yes, yes, I am. No, stop it. All right, fine. Said one of his players. There you guys got my info. No, I understand. I'm going back to text him. Tell him where, where we are right now. All right, man, leader Sama. Magic Sama, pick one of us. Said a member of the basketball team. All right, can do. Your turn. Can't just smile, said truth. What is it that you would you send your friends with Lear Summer? Do you know about the relationship that he has? Uh, yeah, a little bit, but that's all I got. So you can't do the summer. All right, now my turn. So Lear Summer. Lear Summer, truth or dare? Dear air. You're also a friend of Tony's. Was it comical that he fell in love with the swan from Tokyo? Yeah, it's comical that he's rolling someone in Tokyo to leave Sama. Kaito, where is his hand? Yes, Kaito. Can I go? Say Kaito. Sure. Say no Chaco. Kaito, chill there. There. Dare. Say Kaito. What is the relationship with Karitaru? They're in a love relationship. They're not in a hate relationship. They're in a love relationship to Kaito. I'll go next, said Rin. All right, Rin, chill there. There. Dare. Say Rin. What is your relationship with your Leo Sama and Kaito? Love relationship. Always been love since the first day they met in a bachelor game. Sir and Sama remember and spy on them all the time. Alright, next one. I'll go, said Julian. Alright, Julian. What's well, truth or dare? Truth. So, Julian. What is your best friend? Favorite ice cream. Tony's favorite ice cream is. Ch Cookie dough, sometimes it changes, but he likes cookie dough when he's sick. Correct, so Chaco, remember how many times I say Chaco gave him cookie dough at Blizzard from Dairy Queen. Alright, next one, I go to Ethan. Ethan smiles and he wants to go. Alright, Ethan, truth or dare, so Chaco, dare, so Ethan. I dare you to watch what the, your your teammates are doing all right. Ethan sneakily went and so looked at Leah Summer's text. He smiled sheepishly and watched them text back and forth from each other. And Ethan went back and said, "He's actually about there, what they're doing, and how that team we're playing here than there, and how you're choosing the choosing there is about him and his boyfriend." Oh, that's so nice. I shock. Okay, who? Car raise his hand. I want to go, said Car. All right, let's go, Car. Car, truth or dare? Dare. I dare you to do 12 push ups when we get to the train camp. I can do that, said Car. I know you can. Say to Yotaco. All right, who's next? I go, said Mark. We're typing on his phone. All right, Mark, truth or dare? Dare, said Mark. I dare you to steal Leah someone's stuffed animal when we get to the motel. Okay, so Margaret McCauley that the pickle was his favorite stuffed animal. Uh, knowing that he's going to get beat after he steals the stuffed animal, the pickle stuffed animal. Alright, who's next? I'll go, said Wade, looking to the side, blushing. Alright, what do you want to wait? Truth, so wait. Alright, wait. I dare you to tell me why Mark is scared of not stealing the stuffed animal. He is scared because Tony beats him every time you do what you other dare with the stuffed animal thing. He is obsessed with his pickle. So wait, smiling victorious that you remember that. Alright, who's next? JP raised his hand. 
I will, said JP. Oh, yeah, JP, what's the shit there, truth? What's the square root of pi? Um, a lot, said JP. Remember, that does not good with math. Okay, that works for me, said so, Ochako. Now, after that, they went got to the airport and told us, let's go, guys, airport's here. By the airport, they all ran to the out with their bags and chocolate smile with their bag and jumped off the sh the bus and I smile, gave mine to the bus driver like all normal. Thanks for taking us like all no always, busty. So sorry. No problems to the bus driver. No other nickname to I was used. Busty, I smile and wait at Toy Toy way back from the back from the back of his back. Toy walked into the airport and the airport attendants knew that they were coming. Made sure all the members were together, 20 of each and 20 in each, so 60 members, 20 plus 20 is 40 plus 20 is 60, 60 members and all their coaches and all their managers were together and helped the security take them to the plane what their destination was meant for. Once they got to the plane area, they checked their cards, checked their IDs, and they headed to the and checked their passports, and then went on to the plane with their bags. Tony smiled, gave them a tip for helping out in, in all this over the years. Tony smiled and patted the flight hand's head and always helped out. The old lady smiled. And she always, the old lady at the front desk smiled, knowing that he was a kind man like he always was, helping out the customers and helping other people as well. He always went to the airport and wanted his bro here to her internship. He always went to the airport to help the airport attendants and the people at the airport so nothing would happen to help the security. So he was a good man at heart. Thomas Ryan made bonds with his security guards and the airport with attendants and the old lady as well. Then I was to the front desk. Thomas Ryan waved at all of them and said, I'll see you later. And headed to the airplane and John hopped in his seat. The plane flew off like normal. Tony Smile texted his boyfriend. The text is this, head into your place now. See you when you get, I get there. Mia said, at the airport in Tokyo. Love you, bye. Babe and bye. So Tori and the text there. The text came out so he will meet his boyfriend there. Tori smiled in the text there and went to enjoy his day. What happened now? Find out next time. Peace out, guys.